When I met Dwayne Allman, we were playing at the park. He liked the band. He liked the spirit of it. Piedmont Music Festival had the Allman Brothers, Jackie Wilson, the Coasters, Mother Earth, Boss Gags. I remember it very well, though. It just incredible quality of music. We played with the dead back, I guess, 69 at a place called the Sports Arena. It was a Grateful Dead, the Allman Brothers, and the Hampton Grease Band. It was in June or July of 1969. Colonel Hampton, he was very much a blues singer and a uh, very rare type and a lot like Pigpen, and so they were brothers of a kindred spirit. The Grateful Dead had heard about this festival that they wanted to play. Bill Graham had arranged for them to come to Atlanta. They came to Atlanta and played for free in Piedmont Park. Jimi Hendrix played, we were talking about 1970. It was July 4th weekend of 1970, and it was brutally hot. The band that really stole the show, and they were at their peak, was the Hampton Grease Band. The When I first met Bruce, I was uh, with Dwayne Allman, and Dwayne had always had been talking about the band, and honestly, I'd avoid seeing him. I mean, you know, I respected Dwayne's opinion, but he had a wider tolerance for certain things that I, I didn't necessarily like or enjoy. It was just avant-garde. It was different. It was weird. It was strange. It was so far out there, but that made sense and was really creative. Dwayne definitely considered Bruce as a brother. He was one of them. He loved Bruce's music, he loved the Grease Band, and he lobbied Phil to get Bruce signed to Capricorn, or at least signed to a record deal. He sort of did the Big Brother act and took us under his wing and got us a record deal. Without him, I doubt if anybody would have ever had a music career. Colonel Bruce Hampton. and the Aquarium Rescue Unit. Thank you, guys.